What's up, fight fam? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everybody in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, the thing is this, man. So I see we are inching closer and closer to this Vasil Lomachenko versus Devin Haney fight. And man, I told y'all in the past, fight fans, I really can't wait for this fight. I think this fight gonna be smoking. And it's gonna be interesting if we are gonna see a nail put into the coffin of Vasil Lomachenko. Very interesting to see if it happens like that. Now, I've been checking out some of Lomachenko's recent fights, man. And I gotta tell you, from what I've been seeing, I see no reason why Devin Haney should not pull off the victory against Vasil Lomachenko. I mean, just going back to his more recent fight against Jermaine Ortiz fight fans, where you've seen Jermaine Ortiz got a lot of similar dynamics like Devin Haney does. He's tall, he was long, he's a boxer. And I think that you've seen Vasil Lomachenko have a lot of struggles in that fight. Some say that the lift wasn't as 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 uh, springy as it normally used to be with that with his feet where he used to jump in and jump out. Well, it didn't seem as quick, you know what I mean? took a lot of punishment had to go through a lot of length and cover a lot of real estate damn damn two hellcats racing on the on the highway fight fans crazy crazy let me get up in the race with mine you know what i mean but anyway back to the video man but uh yeah man uh and and i looked at that that last fight uh, you know jermaine ortiz like i said had a lot of similar dynamics and he gave us a lot of problems man he had to cover the real estate he, took a lot of punches you know what i'm saying his face got a little marked up against jermaine ortiz and i say to myself devin haney can do everything that jermaine ortiz does better you know what i mean better and i don't see Vasil omachenko being able to deal with that the length he's going to have to cover the ground he's going to have to find a way to the inside devin haney is a patient fighter devin haney throws very very has a very very good punch selection he has a good jab he does move. He is long. He's much bigger than Vasil Lomachenko. Seems to me that Devin Haney has every advantage in the world going into this fight, fight fans. You know, and people might say, look, what is it that Devin Haney can do that's going to be so dominating over Vasil Lomachenko? The answer is simple, fight fans. The jab. Devin Haney's last couple of fights against George Cambosos, the way he dismantled George Cambosos the most was with the jab. I'm listening to some recent quotes that comes from um, Jermaine Ortiz and Jermaine Ortiz is saying that the way that he effectively nullified Vasil Lomachenko was by using the jab and Devin Haney, though he gets criticized a lot for being an over jabber, the fact of the matter is he can jab and if that is the one thing that's going to give Vasil Lomachenko problems, well Devin, no one does it better than Haney and at the end of the day, fight fans, I did see Vasil Lomachenko struggling with Jermaine Ortiz's jab. And Devin's is longer, it's faster, and it has more snap. Some say that Jermaine Ortiz would have defeated Vasil Lomachenko if he wouldn't have ran out of gas. But those first five rounds, most see Jermaine Ortiz racking up those rounds and doing it by using a jab, keeping uh, Lomachenko at distance or at bay. And Lomachenko just couldn't get around it. What is he going to do with Haynes? Now, I believe that the one thing that Devin should absolutely have to keep his eyes out for is the fact of being robbed in this fight. I think that's a realistic possibility, given that, you know, the Haney's are running around telling Bob Arum that they're on their last fight and they're going to be free and things like that. Certain things I believe is, you know, best left unsaid, and, 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 to be honest with you. This is boxing, and, and boxing can get dirty. It can get corrupt sometimes, so just be careful with that. And, you know, Bob Arum is well on record stating that Vasil Lomachenko versus Shakur Stevenson would be a very much more easier fight to make. And um, I'm just saying, man, Bob Merriman is going to just sit back and watch Haney walk out of his stable with all of those belts, including his favorite, the WBO. So you got to watch it. You got to keep that third eye open for corruption, fight fans. But the thing is, man, I just don't see Vasil Lomachenko being able to do anything with the dynamics of Devin Haney, man. I mean, I could see Vasil maybe grabbing a round, few rounds here and there. But for the most part, man, I just... I don't, style-wise, man, I just don't see it, man. Uh, I mean, Vasil Lomachenko's, maybe the time off is going to do him some good. And, you know, as he re rehabilitates his body and everything like that, maybe that time off may do him a little good, you know. But at the end of the day, fam, I, I just don't see it physically um, in the ring. And, you know, he would have to be the Matrix, man. 
Not not this dude that he is now. He's not no longer the Matrix right now. Right now, he's just Miss Pac-Man. You know what I'm saying? He's not the Matrix. He's Miss Pac-Man fight fans. And he's got to turn back to the Matrix. The footwork, the angles, the speed, the yada, yada, yada. He's got to, that guy got to come back for Devin Haney. And Devin Haney is, is well on record saying that, look, man, he's going to be staying at 135 if he's victorious against Vasil Lomachenko. So he ain't going nowhere. And this has got a lot of the fans speaking about the Shakur and Tank situation. Uh, those will be beautiful, beautiful fights. And I hope we do get those fights with the new gen, man. Real spill. But Shakur is definitely on the, the, the trail of Devin Haney and have been for quite some time. You know, Devin Haney says a lot, man. Everybody say everything but let's fight. But Shakur has been saying let's fight for the last couple fights, and we've heard nothing. So we'll see, man. But at the end of the day, man, when it comes to Vasil Lomachenko fight fans, I try to tell you, man, I don't see a lane for victory for Vasil Lomachenko. Now, can he come back and surprise us? Absolutely. I mean, he is a high-level fighter. You know what I mean? Once upon a time, top one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters. And you just never know if he can ever tap that that inner strength inside of him and bring that old him back out. You just never know. But the way Devin is looking, Devin is looking like he's entering into his prime. Very, very, very confident. Um, and I think he looks at the size of Vasil Lomachenko and say, this dude is just way too small. Um, there's no way that he's going to lay a glove on me. I mean, Vasil Lomachenko had problems closing that gap versus Jermaine Ortiz, man. And, 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 and I believe that Devin Haney has a much better jab. He has much better movements. Uh, he's much more educated in his punching and much more economical as well. And I just think that it's going to be a major problem for Vasil Lomachenko fam. But we'll see. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, 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 rock the bells. Maybe he surprises his fight fans. Who knows? I just wouldn't bet the farm, though. I just don't see it stylistically, man. Real spill. To the next video, man. Peace out.